Hello and welcome to Flexline Media coverage of the Round 1 Front 7 feature card of the 2020 Christchurch Fling. My name is Chris Hoopman and I'm joined today for commentary by Brady Cush. How are you yeah. going, Brady? Good, Chris. How are you? Very well. I'm excited to uh, get into this round feature card, see some new faces. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, yeah. it's good to be back on the South Island, see all the competition out there. 80 competitors this weekend, so yeah, it was a good battles out there. Yeah, definitely, and especially at Ascot Disc Golf Course, a new venue for the Crash Church Fling this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty big course for a lot of the local players, um, so it's good to kind of see the local talent versus those coming in from out of town. Definitely, and here we see uh, four out of towners on our feature card. Mikey Yu coming from Queenstown, sponsored by Small Planet Disc Sports. Luca Liebel from Westport, sponsored by Dish Shop. Jackson Sullivan from Auckland, sponsored by RPM. And Cooper Solis, sponsored by Vortica, and he's from Wanaka. So, good feature card here. Yep, yeah, yeah, should be a real good battle. We got some good arms. Hole one here is uh, par three, 101 meters. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of straightforward. Um, you can take it straight up the guts if you want, or a lot of players you'll probably see for the right-handed, backhanded will come in uh, from a hyzer on the outside. Yeah, definitely quite a... Uh, Easy shot to start us off here, and also got to uh, shout out Robert Crastons for the drone footage. Um, another Small Planet Disc Sports sponsored player, so a massive thanks for him for helping out with the with the drone previews. Thank you, Robert. Mark, are you starting us off? Opting for the backhand, but it's no trouble for him. This is looking looks a little short, little short. actually. Yeah, it's, no, but he's all right. So he's just yeah. outside the tree. Should give him a look. Yeah, those trees kind of mark the the circle. Just just outside those trees is the circle. Uh, you just got to watch out. You don't want to be pinched behind one. A oh, little quick rip out of Luca. Uh, outside, it looks like. Yeah, pushing a bit wide to the right-hand side. He'll have a open approach. There's not too many trees to uh, get in trouble here. And Jackson. So good to see him in action. Yeah. From the North Island, don't get to see him play down here too often, but... Uh, and <laughs> heart. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Replay, let's see this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just a classic right-hand backhand hyzer and just on a rope, sliding right in front of that guardian tree, like you said before, that's on the edge of the circle, and slides right up to the basket. Holy and cow. This hole was a CTP for the first round, and spoiler alert, Jackson <laughs> just got it first throw. <laughs> Way to go, Jacko. Oh, good save. Come on, Cooper. Yep, yeah, looks a little inside. Yep, yeah, fades out. Oh. Just getting caught up in that debris to the left. But it was a good stop there, actually. He yeah. should have a nice look. Yeah. Let's see if Luca can get the up and down. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. That'll play. That'll be an easy tap in for him. Yep. Yeah, it's perfect. Pin high. Uh, bit of a tester putt here on the first hole. Let's see if the nerves get to Cooper here, being on feature card. Yeah, uh, I think all these plays except for Marky haven't been filmed. Ooh. And Ooh. yeah, that's what the camera does. <laughs> a little high, but hey, it'll be a tap in. Easy par. Come on, Mikey. Of course, Jackson's been filmed a little bit, uh, I think even in Australia. Some of his tournaments there, um, but not by us yet. There you go. Yeah, great bird to start off. Yeah, it's good to see Mikey. Um, interesting to see that he took a backhand on the hole, but hey, he walks away with the birdie, so good on him. An easy par, like I said, for Luca. Well done. Jackson hasn't even approached his lie yet. <laughs> Everyone else is put out. <laughs> Uh, well done, Jacko. Great drive. Um, as you can see, he's got the CTP in his hand. <laughs> just like trying to figure out what order do I do, do this in. <laughs> just putting his ducks in a row and tapping in. Great bird to start it off. I guess that's a thousand rated problem. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hole two, par three, 138 meters. This one's pretty big. Um, players probably opting for the right hand line. Big hyzer. Um, around to the right. Missing this tree uh, can very, be very easy to get caught. Uh, it's right in front of you. So if you push it out wide, get it to hyzer in, ideally with a skip. Yeah, yeah, there is a flex line you could take over the top if you want. And yeah, I was debating whether, yeah, Mikey, you can hang it out left if you get over this first tree here just off the tee. Um, there's plenty of space to work with out on the left. So let's see how Mikey does with the flick. 
Yeah, obviously uh, ops for the forehand quite a bit. Makes it around. What's he got? Magic. 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 It's getting caught up in a tree, but it's not too bad. Nah, should be an easy up and down. Yeah, he got all the distance that he needed. Um, so, yeah, he's inside 100 feet. We have Jackson. He's probably one of the few players who could reach the pin out of this field. Uh, um, easily. Um, it's just more of getting the getting it to hook up and, and come in at the yeah. basket. So he should have the distance, but does he have the angle right? And that looked pretty easy for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smooth customer. Yeah. And getting a really good kind of skip roll. Yeah. But doesn't push probably as far as he would like. Yeah, he's still sitting probably just outside circle two. So have, he could probably give it a little bid. Um, Luke has got some sneaky distance if he can get it right himself. Um, so he should be right up there with Jackson, hopefully. Mm, looks a little high. Yeah. But one thing that surprised me about Luca all through this round was just he makes it look super easy and it goes far. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a real casual approach coming in from Westport. Um, but, yeah, like you said, like that nice smooth customer. Yeah. Um, yeah, and sneaky distance. It's a nice rip from Cooper. A little lower than the other competitors, but, but again... Plays it safe and yeah. right down the middle. Yeah, no one's really got the birdie look on this one with it being, you know, the 138 meters. Yeah, here's Cooper. Should be a routine up and down. Yeah, no problem there from Cooper. No, low ceiling for Luca. <laughs> yeah, probably one of the taller competitors in the field. Yeah, I was going to say, let's see if Mikey gets to that same tall competitor problem. <laughs> Not just nah, fine for Mikey. Easy. Come on, it should be a routine for most of these players to make it up and down from this distance. Nice wide open. It doesn't look like there's any breeze at this stage. Oh, a bit out of Mikey. A mm, little sawed off. So, yeah. But he should be okay. Mm, circle's edge, maybe seven meters. A look from Jackson. Definitely within his range. He's got quite a good stab putt. Floats oh. it up. Ooh. On line, but just a bit low. Obviously yep. not wanting to push it too far beyond the basket. Yeah, maybe a little half bid, nice and easy for him. Yeah. Mikey taking his time. Yep, no problem. Yep, that's one of Mikey's weapons. <laughs> I thought it was short, but I reckon that was going in every day of the week. Yeah, yeah, it should be pretty routine cleanup for these guys, so long as there's no camera nerves, coops. Oh, oh that was a strong side splash out. Yeah. Mm. Hate to see it. Yeah, easy work for Jacko. And here's Luca. Yeah, a little unfortunate bogey here for Cooper, but yeah. there's still plenty of golf still to play. Yep, he'll bounce back. Moving into hole three. We see Isaac off the tee, putting out that big wide hyzer. He had a really great tournament, didn't he? Yeah, I was going to say, mad shout out to Isaac. You know, like he was sitting in second overall playing from the advanced yeah. division. Even though he's 18, he could be playing juniors if he wanted to. Crazy. Anyway, hole, hole three, par three, uh, about 50 meters, um, I would say. I think the uh, the measurements on the on the scorecard were actually a little bit lower than this one actually was I think especially with the, the higher basket probably about 55 60 meters yeah and it's real interesting to see Mikey take a backhand off of this he'll finish out left it looks like yeah but he's pin high so yeah. he should have a putt at it I think that one got caught up on the mound yeah because most players I see will take that yeah that right hand backhand the hyzer in um though I've seen a few just kind of take it straight at it trying to put it on the steps to give them the like mm -hmm. putt from halfway up the hill Looks like maybe a Kia, like a mid out of Jackson. Yep, there's that kind of, yeah, you know, like kind of halfway up. So he's out the back, but mm. again, he should have a look just like Mikey did. Yeah, there's a bit of a platform between the two mounds if you can get it in that spot. Just kind of decrease your distance putting uphill. It's a bit more straight up and down from Luca. Yeah, super smooth. He's right next to Jackson. 
Yeah, we got friends on that right side. What's Coop going to come up with? Right hand, backhand as well. Looking like he's aiming out that right side. Yep, nice and high. Does he have the weight? Oh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Heart job. Yeah, that's great from Cooper. And we'll see that one again. Yeah, you can see he takes it nice and wide, nice and high, and that's what you got to do. If you come in with too much speed, you can just kind of roll down that hill and get a skip off it. But if you watch here in just a second, perfect. Yeah, like, just catching that top step. Yep. Settling top step, in there. Grabs the sand. Yeah. Easy birdie for Cooper. It's so easy to skip off the top there, and then you're looking at a really tricky putt. Jax is probably putting up about two meters at this point. Nice. Easy yeah. work for Jackson. Nice putt. And now the tricky <laughs> retrieval of the disc up the hill, using that grass to his advantage. Luca, same look. Very similar spot. Ah, ah. It's hitting the cage. Bit too much kind of float, not enough force behind it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of easy to do that on uphill putts to mm. fluff it just a little bit. Oh, oh no, Mikey. <laughs> Settle, Mikey. Uh, yeah, kind of tough spit out for him. That that should have been an easy birdie. And you'll see Cooper just walk up here. Should just be a drop in for him. Yeah, great bounce back from the uh, previous hole. Yeah. So yeah, with Mikey tapping out here, it should be two birdies, two pars. That's a pretty good play of this hole on the weekend. Looks like the wind's starting to pick up a little bit based on Mikey's shirt. So we'll see if that comes into play for uh, the rest of these holes. Uh, here we go on to hole four, par four, 164 meters. First kind of two shot hole in the course. Uh, so you just kind of coming straight out the gates into the fairway here. Um, and then as we zoom in closer to the green, you'll see that there's this big guardian bush just in front of the basket with a mando on our right to kind of protect the tee pad of hole five. And then this road and those bollards you see there below us are all playing out of bounds. Um, so it's a pretty tricky upshot in order to get to this kind of well peninsula green. Yeah, I really like this hole. It really uh, makes players think about their drive. Um, there's a big bailout zone to the right, so if you can get it turning over, you can get a de decent distance. Um, but you just really got to watch that uh, that fade. Make sure you land, uh, land safe in the fairway and then really pinched off uh, upshot into the green. This looks great from Jackson. Yep, Jackson's all right. Sit. Oh, yeah, he's just fine. This grass was playing really grabby all weekend, so mm. there wasn't a lot of skips like you can see there. So, yeah, he's parked r way out in the middle of the fairway. Should be an easy up and down, hopefully, around that corner. That was a great uh, display of what the car who can do. Great yep. driver. Cooper really steady. He's got that low shot again. He's sitting out in the middle of the fairway. Um, should give him a good angle to attack the green. Mikey is going to be flirting with that OB with this flick. Uh, throws it high. Yeah. Takes the OB out of play, which is nice, but it's not going to get the distance that he might want. But again, he'll probably have that flick into the green, which would be yeah. easy for him. He's got a deadly forehand. It should be f no problems for him for his approach shot. Luca opting for the backhand. I think he uh, throws destroyers off the tee for his driver. Yeah. So he's got quite a few in his bag. Oh, come on. Stay in bounce. <sighs> Highs. Uh just yeah. catching the ground that's he, super grabby yeah super grabby super thick grass over there so yeah he's just fine looks like Coop was the shortest of the bunch oh mm. bit of a misrelease from Cooper there just turned it yeah straight into the OB yeah too much yeah. flex on that one too low he's kind of been low these first few shots here um, Mikey should hopefully show us how a forehand is done coming into this green Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, pretty textbook. Look at that. Five meters should be a real easy birdie for him. No issues there. Luca, just a bit tighter. Goes with a high hyzer for his. Yeah, that's great. Even yeah. closer, four meters. Well done, Luca. Just completing the uh, <laughs> the bunch of forehands into yeah, the screen. Yeah, forehand upshot. Yeah, and, and that's pretty good as well. Just a bit shorter yeah, than Luca. Short, but might be six meters, so he might be putting first here. Though we'll have, yeah, Cooper's here on the out-of-bounds line. But it's nice and open now, finally, for him. Won't want to make the same mistake, and he keeps that well in bounds. Drifts oh, yeah, into that, just fine. Yeah, drifts into the debris, but it should be fine. 
Yep, edge of bullseye for him. Ooh, Mikey's up first. Come on, settle. He had a little bit of splash out on that last hole, so let's see if he can collect himself this time. There yep. we go. Not a problem. And he's at two down through the fourth. <laughs> yeah, should be pretty routine work here for everyone. Yeah, yeah, we did have a little issue with even some of these close ones. You had to think them through. These baskets, yeah. um, as you can tell, are portable temp baskets. So we had a, issues on the weekend of some splash outs and not catching as the way. Yeah, I they mean, should. generally, I, I'm a big fan of the disc, mate. For what they are, they're fantastic oh, baskets. Amazing. But um, but really, no, no comparison to the helix that no. we we see in most disc golf courses, permanent disc golf courses here in New Zealand. Um, and big shout out to uh, like Dave Rose, tournament director, for getting 21 disc make baskets yeah. all together uh, for this temp course. Like, yeah. well done, Dave. Yeah, the entire Christchurch disc golf community pulled together, and uh, we uh, took them out of people's backyards and put them in Asco, and it turned out to be an awesome tournament. Here we have hole five, par three, 62 meters. The main obstacle here is the willow right in front of you, between you and the basket. So most players will be opting for the forehand, which is the most open route, uh, which the drone is flying through right now. There is a right-hand route, um, but you just got a few more willow branches to, to punch through. Yeah. Yeah, Jacko looks like he's setting up the backhand route. There is a line if you see right down the middle, just inside that tree, but pretty tricky. Yeah. yeah, hangs it wide, catches that tree, yep, bounces to the right side. So, yeah, he's going to have a pretty tricky approach with all the willow branches hanging down. Mikey, no surprise, opting for his sidearm. He'll be putting this nice and high. Yep, and yeah, the, the trick with the sidearm is to get the distance right because if you hit the line low, you're going to end up out the back at the back of the circle. So you really got to hug that tree as much as you can. Looks like a little bit of a misrelease, <laughs> a little whoops on Mikey there. Is it coming down? I think it came down. He is. Too much bow pow. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So he, yeah. He's that. outside. Yeah, yeah. Like I said. So, yeah, you can kind of get caught up if you don't get that distance yeah. right. And there is a bee out to the left, but um, I'm pretty, pretty confident he uh, avoided that by catching the top of a willow. Oh, outside line. I heard that Luca was taking this line on the weekend and, and it filters it, through. Yeah. What a shot. He's got such a casual technique, but it certainly works for him. Straight up the guts from Cooper. A little left. Yeah, it looks like an early release there. Punches yeah. through the first set of willows, yeah. but doesn't make it all the way through. But he should have a look. So Mikey's stretching out. That's not yeah. a bad upshot at all That's a fantastic, fantastic scramble from in those willows. Jackson, Jackson lays yep. up. Yep. Not up much more you can up. do. Nah. That low ceiling. Yeah, Coop, ooh, Cooper's got a window here. He's out on his knee to the right. Go, baby. Oh, oh, off the top of the basket. Uh, great great run from there, yeah. Luca. Saddle. There we go. Such a great drive. He'll want to convert this one. Oh. <sighs> yep. So close. Unlucky. Well, yeah, it's a trick, you know, like that you got to focus all of these putts through. And mm. sometimes, you know, you just don't focus for that half a second. And then you're half a, you know, half a centimeter low. Yeah, 100%. It's happened to all of us. Mikey converts his par for a great, great scramble. Yep. Good on Mikey. Um, way to get the up and down after that, you know, kind of errant mm. drive. Easy par for Cooper. He's yeah. kind of off to a slow start, but uh, like we're on, you know, hole five. There are plenty of holes to go. Definitely. Unlucky there for Luca. Had a chance to get one on the card, but they're all work walk walking away with pars. Ooh, here we go. Uh, hole six, par five, 246 meters. Um, round one, there is uh, no mandatory in play, which will come to play um, later on in the tournament. Uh, so as the drone flies here, you're just trying to make it around this corner, um, kind of on your first shot. And then you'll see, yep, here comes the second corner. So that's kind of where you're aiming after your second shot. Um, and then you'll get uh, the long fairway approach uh, down to the green. So hopefully if you're sitting right here next to this big guardian tree on the corner, uh, it really opens up. So if you have a longer arm, you can take a fairway or a distance driver right over this little bush here on the right. And then yeah, it'll perfectly kind of hide your back uh, towards the pin on a right hand backhand. So it is a gettable birdie. I've heard some people have been trying to get the eagle by just pumping it out to the right off the tee and then up over 
all of that Guardian stuff. Wow. Yeah, right. Let's see what Jackson can do. Uh, straight up the guts for him. If he can make the corner, this is going to be amazing. Yeah, that's a great shot. That's exactly where you want to be off the tee. Yeah. Yeah, so he's around that first corner, nice and easy. Um, sets himself up really well for uh, going around that second corner. Mikey opts for the forehand. And if he can get that bush, he should be fine. There's plenty of room to play with over here. Yeah, that should be all right for him. A little bit low ceiling there with the tree, but it should be okay. Luca, he's going for a backhand destroyer off the tee. And this is a bit high. He'll need this to push to get around the corner. And he gets, yeah, it gets around. <laughs> wow. That just kept going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could see a little bit of wind there in the tree, so that must have helped him make that corner. That was a great drive out of Luca. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, Cooper, nice and Cooper, low. Cooper, this has to push. Again. This has to push. It stays out of the rough, yeah. which is really good. It, it's almost it's instant par to bogey if you're in yeah. any of the rough on this hole. And now Cooper is opting for the right hand f play. Uh, which was in in play for the first round. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately what it does is it brings in hole 10's fairway to play. So in later rounds, uh, Amanda was put in on the corner to kind of protect the safety of the players on hole Ooh. 10. Ooh. <laughs> that was, hope Mikey's hand's okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, it was considered um, that that would be an option to players. Um, uh, yeah, in the course can... design, I, like, I, I never even thought it was a possibility, but... Yeah, we have two players going. Jackson is taking the traditional route. Looks like he's going up and over. Yeah, he's going over the, the inside behind those trees is some pretty th uh, thick water, kind of swampy area. So you really don't want to end up in there. But that's a great, that's a great yeah. uh, second uh, throw from great second from Jackson. throw makes it around the corner. Yeah, I, I think you're kind of underplaying the pond that is behind <laughs> those trees. It's about chest deep when you get to the middle. Yeah, you don't want to be in there. And this is good from Luca. If he makes that through, yeah. holy goodness. Yeah, he's halfway. That should just be an easy, like, mid-range up and down. No worries for Luca. He's playing this hole really well. And now this is the other fairway. The fairway of hole 10 playing backwards. We've got Cooper and Mikey on this side. And so, uh... So, yeah, Cooper's laying up, going down. Mikey looks like he's going big over the top on his third here. And he, he went big. Getting over the Guardian rough. Didn't see where it finished. Uh, yeah, so he's just outside the yeah. green, it looks like, if he filters he's down. He's pretty much on the green. Yikes. Just just uh, outside of that rough. So, insane shot. Yep. Coop trying for the same thing. Kind of playing a bit more straight and hoping that it'll, it'll kind of stab into the green. And, yeah, he's... He's found that rough, which is unlucky. I think yeah. it got pushed by the wind. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of see it now. The wind's starting to pick up, so both those hyzers coming over the top, just super exposed to that. So just pushing them into the rough. Now Jackson playing the more traditional fairway, pushing over that bush, as you mentioned during the preview. Oh, and, yeah, pin yeah. high. Great shot. A little bit wider the pin, but Jackson will have a clear putt, probably circle two. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of Jackson range. Luca should have a similar shot here, playing the same way. He looks higher, though. That wind's going to wreak havoc. And he's he, gone long. That's not terrible. Yeah, long's not yeah. all right. He's not in the rough, so he's all right. Yeah, as you can see, Cooper and, and Mikey kind of pushed that edge a little bit too much. So Cooper looks like he's just going to chip out here. Ooh, a little yeah. bit of a go. Not bad. Easy tap in. Yes, um, <laughs> great putt, Jacko. Yeah, just pure spin putter. Um, just great outside the circle. No issues with the wind. What a putt, Jackson. Yeah, he putts with such confidence. And this is where Mikey ended up. So, well in the clear. Oh, yeah, he must have filtered out. Really yeah. good. A little bit of tree love there, Mikey. Yeah. Nothing but chains. Nice done. Little scoop off the cage there, but hey. Already two birdies on our feature card. Oh, oh. Almost three. Luca. Mm. Oh, just high. Hopefully he can clean up the par. Yeah. Yep, no worries. Playing pretty good golf. Just the one birdie for one down through six holes. And the fact that you just saw two players get birdie on this hole is completely odd for the weekend. It was yeah. the hardest hole on the course playing like uh, half a stroke over par. Yeah.
and there was only four birdies on our opening round. So just goes to show, very tough hole. Yeah, coming into hole seven, uh, par three, 93 meters. As you can see, the drone's flying around. This little pond in the middle uh, is out of bounds. Um, it's just off that tree line there. And you can see, again, this basket is tucked really close into those trees. So again, you gotta kind of judge that distance of getting around the trees, but not going too far past the basket. I saw a lot of players just laying up on this one. If you don't have the forehand, it can be just just a layup and pitch around. Interesting. Yeah, I would think Jackson would have all the power that he needed and that he could throw, you know, like a turnover or forehand or something to make the corner. Um, but yeah, so it's interesting to see him lay up. Mikey, I would think, yeah, straight to the forehand. He, it should be an easy kind of routine shot for him, I'd think. Um, but man, this wind's really picking yeah. up. Yeah, if uh, <laughs> you could describe the weekend in... One word, I'd probably think it would be windy. Yeah. Um, always tough here at Ascot. Um, pretty exposed coming off the beach. This looks good from Mikey. Gets oh. a really unlucky kick. I think that yep. might be OB. Yes, yeah. it is. The first kick was great. Like, he kicked, I saw that he'd bounced away from the trees. It looked like he was going to be in bounds. But, yeah, the wind or something, yeah, a little spin yep. took him out of bounds again. I think he thought that he was safe off the tee. So, oh, this is really inside from Luca. Yeah, that's pretty much going to be straight out of bounds there. Yeah, on the I'm not of that. sure where it went. We're not getting any OB graphics, so I think he could be all right. Ooh. But he's definitely nowhere that you would want to be. <laughs> Here's Cooper taking kind of the, the unconventional uh, turnover shot. Yeah, and I think Cooper is safe as well. Um, couldn't quite track it, but uh, he's all right. Jackson looked like he's taking a putt over the out of bounds. This is a real risky shot, especially in this wind, if he catches anything. Plays it really well. That's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> great shot. Super technical. Yeah, Yeah, and so Keeper's come up a bit short of the pond, but he'll have a, kind of a similar look as uh, Jackson had. Plays the forehand very nicely. Got a bit long of the basket. Yeah. Um, if you have any putts... So this is where Luca ended up, on the other side of the pond... Oh, oh, gives it a run. <laughs> <laughs> Almost a birdie, yeah. I, I, I can't say that I would have suspected a birdie was going to come from the other side of the pond, but that was a great bid by Luca. Mikey can save par if he can make this. <sighs> Just caught that tree. Down. Yeah, caught the tree on the right-hand side. Yeah. Looked like it put that nose straight down. He'll tap out. Unfortunate bogey for Mikey. Cooper... Looking for a, a settler heading out of this round. There we go. Yep. Nice. Gets the par. Yep, those can be tricky in the wind. It's good to see him capitalize on that. Nice, Cooper. Easy tap in for Jacko. And Lucas should also get the tap in par. There we go. Well done by everyone. Not a bad card. You know, like everyone kind of making it out all right. Only one OB. Yeah, yeah. Certainly a, a really good showing for our feature card in this front seven. Look at that beautiful disc. Yeah, I love that they have, it's not a signature stamp, it's a stamp of their signature. It's really cool, so him good. and Simon got it. Speaking of Simon, woo, out the front, five down to seven. Great job by him being chased by Jackson and Hemi. Um, and then yeah, local Jasper, it was really good yeah. to see. He was playing he's well this playing weekend, so he's chasing well. him fourth. And we have Jimmy, um, also from Auckland, came down for the tournament, great to see him. Nice. Thanks so much for watching our front seven coverage, and we'll see you in the middle seven. Yeah, see you in the middle seven.